a dinosaur in every American high school, despite many of them not teaching evolution. It's an outdated, overpriced piece of uh, machinery, equipment. Uh, it's less powerful than an iPod. It's almost 20 years old. Of course, I'm talking about the TI-83 calculator, which is somewhat of a requirement in most American uh, math classes, at the high school level at least. It's a graphing calculator. It's uh, pretty big, pretty brick-sized, and we've haven't really seen many updates in it, though you can buy a more expensive version for $140. Now the question is, why should students be forced to buy an expensive, outdated piece of technology when you can just buy uh, a much lower priced tablet with free apps aboard? Well, the answer is uh, kind of murky. Uh, most of it, though, is marketing. The TI-83 is ubiquitous in almost every American classroom, uh, and it has been for nearly two decades. So what it is is that it's kind of been ingrained into the system. It's, it's a, an American tradition to use this calculator and this is because partly because of Texas Instruments marketing. They, they have a fun group for teachers called T3 which has been described at times as unorganized and other times as cult-like, an appreciation of the Texas Instruments uh, ubiquitous calculators, uh, but it's also because it's heavily ingrained in our textbooks. Pearson textbooks includes examples on how to solve problems specifically using this calculator, and we also have it ingrained with College Board, which it has pretty much running everything to do with the SATs, making these calculators a requirement for the SATs and many other tests related to uh, making sure you go to college and have a stable life according to your parents. But assuming you go to a reasonably good accredited university, there are two things that are true. One, it is criminally overpriced. Two, it is probably still worth it. Bob Lockdell, a math teacher in Hatboro, Pennsylvania, told Policy Mike uh, that he does feel kind of dirty telling his uh, parents that they have to buy this device when he knows well that he can teach without it. Uh, there are different alternatives. Of course, there you can get a Kindle tablet for $50. You can get a Casio-made alternative for $50. Uh, and there is, a free, there is a free app for that. It's called Desmos. Um, and it does almost everything that a graphing calculator can do, this specific gra graphing calcula calculator can do. Um, it does not take dumps of medians and means, however. Uh, but they have a slightly different business model, which is interesting. The, the software they provide is free for students and users, but they would charge College Board and Pearson's uh, an extra fee to incorporate them on their websites. Uh, Texas Instruments has the reverse model, where they would give the free software version to uh, schools, teachers, not students. Uh, College Board and Pearson's, but of course make uh, kids pay about $100 at least for the same hardware. And it's interesting to see that how ingrained this is. If you read the Policy Mike article, there are teachers who also say, you know, I like having this, it's steady, it's reliable, I like to push buttons. The main reason that this is being held back, uh, according to them, is it's just tradition. I mean, it's funny that we have American classrooms where it's kind of conservative and slowly, slowly, gradually getting to uh, more advanced teaching styles, more advanced learning styles. And it's, it's super ironic that we are doing this specifically to uh, math students, where the kids who excel at this are the ones who will be innovating and shaping and changing things with, through engineering or what have you as they move on to the college level and in their careers. Right now we're basically stuck with the TI-83s, but maybe it won't be that way for too long. I mean, eventually, times have got to change, right? We can't just stay in the same old traditions of learning when we have all these alternatives that are more affordable and exclude less kids and are actually uh, easier to hold on to. I mean, with uh, there, there are endless possibilities if we're, if we're using software as opposed to a 20-year-old graphing calculator. You do get Snake, but I think you can find the emulator for that online if you looked hard as well. Uh, maybe one day we'll reach a point where we'll look back at this debate between an uh, affordable, accessible device and a uh, 20-year-old brick and laugh. But right now, we're kind of in the middle of it. Did you have one of these calculators? What I'm really asking is, did you have math class in America? Because we are basically forced to use this. What do you think? Is it time to move on? Let us know below in the comments, and please subscribe for more.